check in the gets at your home, and then you'll be able to track your progress and see, uh, you know, your busy times during the day, and as well as seeing totals of how many people came to visit your home. So, uh, as you can see here, this is the main screen that you will all be working out of for the majority of the tour. This is the check-in page. So, a couple things to go over. I call it the pre-flight checklist. Always make sure you have decent cell phone signal. All the iPads we gave you have uh, data plans on them. And so, if you are, if your home is in a location where there is spotty cell service, uh, I would suggest if it's possible to flip on Wi-Fi at the home and then connect the iPad to that Wi-Fi where available. I, I'm, I know that's not always going to be possible with a lot of the new homes, but um, this piece of software is very reliant on cell phone signal. So always make sure either you have good cell signal or if you have Wi-Fi at the home, make sure you are connected to the right Wi-Fi network. Um, for best results, we always recommend having the router as close to the ticket taker as possible, uh, just so that iPad can get the best signal possible. So first thing first is you're going to log in to the check-in app using the login that the HBA has given you. Uh, it's a very simple login. It's going to be the same for everyone. Then once you get into this page, what you need to do is select your home. So as you can see in the bottom center of the screen, it says home not selected, please select the home. So just know this, if you don't have a home selected and you start checking people in, those are gonna be counted towards your home. They're just, those are gonna be check-ins just going, in, going into hyperspace and they're not gonna be counted towards any specific home. So always, always make sure when you're starting your shift or starting the day, make sure your home is selected. So hold on, there's, there's on something. On this, Derek, there's a sticker on the back of each iPad that says which home that iPad goes to and has the code on it and that when you check in. Oh, beautiful, perfect. Yeah. So <clears throat> always make sure your home is selected and you guys have the information on the iPad. That that is a really good idea. So what I do is I'm going to tap on this bottom center button, it's going to bring up the home list. So let's say I'm home number one, I'm going to put in my PIN, and then once I enter my PIN, now you can see it says home number one, South Lake Drive, so that's how I know I am logged into my home, so I am good to go. Now. Uh, now I'm ready to scan tickets. So there are three ways to check in an attendee. The first would be scan single ticket. So if I hit that, the screen went black, but really that is my camera. My camera just turned on. So now I'm going to come over to my QR code over here. ticket, my camera's on, and then here is my QR code. Sorry, I'll be a little janky looking. So there's my ticket. As you can see, it has a blank circle, and a status is not redeemed. So that means this individual has not been to the home yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap anywhere on this rectangle, and then my blank circle is no longer empty. It has a little check mark and have the word checked in. As soon as I hit that and it goes green, that will be counted as a check-in at the home. So it's a two-part process. What I'm going to do is I scan the QR code, which brings up the ticket, and then I tap on the ticket. So scan and tap. So just kind of uh, remember that little bitty, scan and tap. Um, if there is a party with multiple tickets, I can do scan multiple tickets, which is this bottom button right here. As you can see, it's got a zero, so that's kind of my counter. 
So if I go in and I scan a ticket, I can scan, I try not to scan too many tickets, uh, just in case. Uh, I, I just make it a habit. We had a home one time where they scanned like 30 tickets at a time, but then they closed the app and they didn't check anyone in, so then they just lost 30 check-ins. So I wouldn't get too crazy with that. I'd probably cap it out at about 10, maybe 15 scans at the same time. And then when I hit done, then the ticket's going to come up and you can tap it in to check it in. Now, if this individual has already been to the home, you're going to see this little check mark in the circle with the status checked in at this time. So you know that person's been to the home already. And then, is there a reentry limit? This is for Marsha and Don. Yeah, one house of reentry. Okay, so the app will reflect that. Um, it'll allow one reentry. And then once that reentry limit has been reached, the iPad will tell you, sorry, your reentry limit has been reached. And so at that point, it's kind of a customer service. Uh, 